you're 29, you've played in Belgium, in Germany, and now in Italy. What is fantasy? Hravatska, Hravatska. What's up, boys, and welcome to the 89 Fantasy Foot Creation Mad Lad, aka Ivan Perisic Episodia, Alexa Q Stereo Love by Edward Maya, the go to track and the only track that you could play at the beginning of a Ivan Perisic, aka Perry Perry Episodia. Uh, not the first Creation Left Mid that we've gotten from the Serie A this year, and that seems to be a little bit of the talk of the town. Some people are saying just pick up Perry, just pe pick up Rebic for uh, 35, 40,000 coins. That well all may, uh, that may all be well and good, but this is a live card who plays for Inter, who are currently in third place are not in a great run of form uh, got an assist against Fiorentina in their last match and then didn't score a goal uh, since the beginning of February uh, but uh, this is an inter squad that is going to be chasing he gets I think he has 26 27 appearances for them so he is minimum guaranteed a 91 rated card and he is just going to look absolutely ridiculous with that upgrade. And I don't think it's the craziest thing after April 1st uh, to expect that maybe he gets a golden assist. So there's a potential for a plus three. He plays for a team where it's definitely a possibility of him uh, of him doing that. So um, again, guys, if you don't know how the fantasy foot cards work, all he has to do starting April 1st for a domestic match, he has to make an appearance in one of five matches. He needs to be uh, he needs to be uh, in the team or as a sub in one of five matches. Needs to just make three appearances or be brought on as a sub. That's two upgrades. And then if he gets a goal in this, if he gets a goal or an assist in any of the uh, first five matches starting April 1st, uh, he gets himself that third upgrade. So he could potentially go up to a 92, uh, 90, 91, 92, uh, but I'm expecting him to get minimum 91 rating. So we're about to hop right into it, boys. If you guys are excited for the Parasitch card, smash like on the Episodia. If you think Team 2 looks absolutely ridiculous, smash like on Epi. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Now, medium medium is not everyone's cup of tea. Some people don't like that. I personally don't have a huge problem with that. We're going to see how that plays in game. Left footed, four star skill moves, five star weak foot. That's the first difference between him and Rebic is the fact that Rebic has the 5-star, 4-star, so depending on what kind of card you like, that might be a difference maker. Uh, and then also, um, this Perisic card has defending stats, so we're going to take a look at those. Let's actually start with those, because he's got 75, intercep uh, 75 interceptions and then 70 defensive awareness. With the right chem style, you could really utilize him in a 3-5-2 or maybe even a 4-4-2 four, four, uh, four, four, formation. He's got 96 jumping, 85 stamina, 86 strength. Wish the aggression was a little bit higher, and let's bounce back over to the other side. Acceleration and sprint speed for days, high and average body type, uh, uh, which we're going to see how that feels in game. 94 attacking positioning, which is much better than Rebic. He has 88 finishing, 95 shot power with 87 long shots. Passing stats are really nice. Curve goes up to 92 with the engine. Uh, and then the crossing goes up to 99 uh, with the engine chem style as well. Agility goes up to 97. Balance 99. And then dribbling 99 with 91 ball control. Rebic only has 82 composure. Uh, this Ivan Perisic card has 91. So, uh, you know, take that for what it's worth. He's got the flare trait. Nothing really else to speak of there. Uh, and if you're using a Milan, if you're doing an Inter, you're doing an Epi on an Inter player, of course you got to put together uh, a Milan Inter uh, rivalry squad. And that's exactly what we've done. We're running Rebic off chem. We might start uh, match number two with him on the left side. Without any further ado, boys, let's get into match number one with this. I think he's about 150, 175,000 coins. I don't think he's over 200,000 coins. Still have this tonality. It expired. So if you missed out on it, RIP. Uh, but uh, if you guys did get it uh it's gonna be really really fun in a couple days in about uh six or seven days here to start tracking those games that start april 1st uh and tracking these fantasy foot upgrades but uh without any further ado boys match number one the fun cool ¿Qué tal todo? Buen día, buenas tardes. Bienvenidos a este maravilloso estadio para un partido. Es goleador del Mundial de 78, Fernando Paloco. Placer darle la bienvenida. Okay, so he's got those little... Does he have the... Does he have the Alexander Isak? Doesn't Alexander Isak have the high and average body type? And then Perisic, one, one! All right, so he's got distance bangers. There's Perisic just... That's a pen. Era penal, tío. Ravatska. All right, we're going to give him a pen. 
I think he's actually got decent pens as well. What does uh, Ivan Perisic has what? Ivan Perisic has um, 85 pens, which is not the best in the world, but we're going to go this way, school of pens. We're obviously going to make him think we're going to left or right when we're switching our player, and he's going to go right. Got he! <laughs> awesome. Wait. Did he move his keeper right and then go left? Levon Perisic gritty. Come on, boys. 35th minute. All right. So the first thing that I want to dispel is some sort of stocky. Like, you know, he doesn't have the stocky body type, but I've already seen a couple of comments saying, like, he's got it. You know, it, he, he's clunky. I can I can most assuredly, I, I can most assuredly relieve you the fact he is not, he, he, is, he is not clunky. He's got the, he's honestly got, he's got the gazelle legs, right? Left end lock stick dribbling. This guy's going to try and get the ball away from me. And I just, you, you just kind of wiggle around. He's the guy that can kind of do like... <laughs> All right, so that's three crossbars. All right, so with the medium, medium, he gets back. Has a little bit of strength on him. I kind of like that. We we got the foul, but um, I, I like I, I like that. We just tapped circle, um, and he absorbed the ball back. So we're gonna test out a little bit of defending with him. Again, he's got def he's got defending stats. He's got what 75 standing tackle. Sorry, no, he's got uh, he's got 70 defensive awareness and then 75 interceptions, which is the huge. Advantage that he has over Rebic if that's the kind of, uh, you know, if that's the kind of decision that you're trying to make. You want, if you're running a 3-5, uh, I love that. I kind of really like that. Ivan Perisic with a lovely little assist to Nico Barella, and Barella just pumps it back home. Again, he's, Nico Barella's 88 rated card is down to 160,000 coins. This is the reason that we love the Serie A. You just find absolute values in this league. It's a pen too. His dribbling is uh, his dribbling is really really nice. Uh, again, one of the first comments that I see, one of the first comments that I see is uh, let's see what, what do we say? Incredible deaf doing it just by Rebic. Uh, Perisic is a former Dortmund player, and that's why I'd rather have him over Rebic. Um, all right, so let's go Giroud. We're gonna give the ball back to Perisic. He already knows that I'm gonna go. He already knows that I'm gonna go up the middle, so he's gonna stay middle, and then we're just gonna go left. A lot of ultimate team is just mind games, boys. And then Perisic, one, one. Tell you, man, this Perisic card cuts. This Perisic card slices. Again, that's the main thing I'm going to point out about the Ivan Perisic. Look at the way that his body's created. Uh, look at the way that the FIFA gods created his body. No, this was a distance banger, a little ball roll, and then an Ivan Perisic finesse. We have uh, uh, Ivan Perisic left-footed, uh, left-footed banger. We absolutely love that. This is another. Uh, that was another pen, and then I think this one was not a pen, but this showcased a little bit of his dribbling. And this was late in the game too, right? Um, Going in, and then just popping, popping one past Mendy, one of the best keepers in the game. So, Alexis. What's the pace looking like? Alexis Sanchez, come on, boys. There's no way that card should be going for 35,000 coins. There's no way an Alexis Sanchez should be going for 35,000 coins, guys. Look at the pass from Perry, man. I'm telling you! There's no way Alexis Sanchez should be going for 35 or 40,000 coins, man. This card is cracked. Let's go, boys! Eva Perisic in the 60th minute. That's unlucky. See the dribbling.
telling you, man. Yo! Listen, he very well may have 70 defending, but I kind of really like him as a striker, though, bro. That's all left hand lock, just moving around. He's got ridiculous acceleration. There's no way, dude. I would be so... I would be gone. Wait, why is that offside? All right, boys, so there you have it. Uh, pretty much played three matches, which feels pretty good. Was able to get a really good feel for his card. If there's one thing that I would, if there's one thing that I, if there's one word that I could use to describe the Perisic card that not, it, that wouldn't pop into everyone's mind initially, it's slippery. He's got the gazelle legs. I did really enjoy the way that he's able to wiggle uh, wiggle around players, not only just using the Burba, but also using the uh, the left analog stick dribbling. Looks like he's about 160, 170,000 coins for a card that's guaranteed pretty much to go up to a 91 minimum. If you're happy with Damzinho, if you're happy with Rebic, stick with them, but but if you're looking to make that next evolution and then have a guy for Inter uh, that you can root for, I would say go ahead and pick up this Ivan Perisic. Four to five in terms of value. Like I said, 160,000 coins considering what Tonali was going for. Obviously, Tonali's a different kind of guy. Uh, left mid, obviously, is going to be a little bit cheaper, but I absolutely love this card. The Brahim Diaz SPC was uh, way more expensive than this one. I think it was like 250, maybe even 300,000 coins. Uh, so this is an absolute bargain, uh, in my opinion. I'm going to say four to five in terms of value. On the pitch performance, I am also going to say four out of five. Like I said, the agility and then and the finishing inside the box was one thing that was kind of surprising to me, but it shouldn't be really because he's got 88 finishing, 91 composure, and a five-star weak foot. That is going to do it for the episode, you boys. Again, slippery. Did everything that we asked of him. Didn't test him out a whole lot defensively. Made a couple tackles, but I don't think he's going to be that guy. Obviously, he's not going to be a Kante for you, but he's a utility player on the left mid or, or right mid, wherever you're playing with him. Uh, and uh, yeah, he's just one of those gadget cards that has that 70 defending that's there if you want to use him for that. But I really liked how he got forward and was able to uh, help, in the, uh, help in the attack. And then also his finishing was very, very good. But like I said, boys, that's going to do for the epi gonna be streaming my weekend league games on twitch later tonight so if you guys want to pop by for that might even complete the parasitch on the rtg because i just think it's such good value for about 160,000 coins and run him as a striker and just have a little bit of fun with the icon squad but smash like for macedonia hit that subscribe button down below if you guys are new to the channel till next time bros choose later update